Hello fellow pipe smokers, Janis here. It's Saturday afternoon, or better said, evening. I'm inside my shop and I'm smoking this Missouri Mersham corn cob pipe and in it I have some Misha's cake from Mozek, German tomaconist from uh, Kiel in northern Germany and this is a Virginia cake tobacco. I had uh, a really, I uh, have a really busy uh, week behind me. A lot of work, a lot of stuff to do. And I was just preparing tobacco that you see here. These are, this is tobacco for our pipe club. That I'm looking after, uh, that is that has the proper moisture, and so on and so on, because when you when you open the jar, we use jars like this that are wide, not so high but wide. Uh, when you open them, you sometimes pipers. Uh, don't put the, uh, the lids back on and the tobacco will dry out and I need to moisten them again and so on. So next week uh, our pipe club will have a gathering. Tasty Virginia. And not only gathering, we will have also a workshop on whiskies. Because we are fortunate that one of our female pipe smokers is a great expert on spirits, wines and other drinks that we can pair, of course, also with tobacco. And she will uh, have a presentation, some kind of uh, introduction to whiskies. We will have different kinds of whiskies. I think we will uh, uh, we have um, representatives of five different Scottish whisky regions. Also one of my favorite whiskies is there. It's Ardbeck, 10 years old. A pit monster. I really like pitted whiskies. So, not to be too long, because I'm actually really tired, let me show you what is the tobacco selection that we have for our pipe club. So, few small samples still left of HU Tobacco, Director Scott and Edward G. This will go, this is maybe for one or two pipes. Then from Mozek, we have for one or two pipes also Tom's plug. Then we have from McBaron Dark Twist. Dunhill Night 6.5. I will first uh, show you non-aromatic blends and a mixture of three different vapors Orlik Golden Sliced, Samuel Gavitt Cabbage Mixture and Peter Heinrich's Curly Block Then we have a aged English mixture together with Germain's Brown Flake A mixture of HH Old Dark Fired and Stockton, both, both from McBaron. Uh, 
and a favorite of ours, Samuel Gavitt, brown number four. Mm. This Samuel, if you didn't uh, smoke Samuel Gavitt brown number four, you should li at least give it a try. It's a strong, a strong rope tobacco uh, wrapped with the uh, in the cigar leaf wrapper and then we have for aromatic uh, tobaccos we have amphora full aroma black ambrosia from mcbaron also amphora is produced by mcbaron i think so let me check Yes, from McBaron. W.O. Larson edition 2015. Captain Black regular. A mystery mix, aromatic mystery mix that I mixed out of some smaller parts of Kulhas and Kop winter time 2017. Peterson's Christmas blend 2017, maybe Kunosur's choice from Peterson, few bits of David of Malawi, Brazil and Argentina, and so on. So a lot of blends, maybe somebody will like it. Uh, and something that you cannot actually get, because this was uh, given out by McBaron long time ago, mostly in the 5 grams uh, bags as uh, samples, it's golden dice. And you can find on tobacco reviews only a picture, a photo of this. Do I have something else here? No. Okay, so this is our selection of tobaccos for our gathering and whiskey introduction uh, workshop that we will have uh, next week. As I said, you couldn't uh, really see me give, uh, uh, putting out any videos because I was really busy. I was uh, commenting and watching your videos, but I cannot do... Uh, I cannot watch all the videos because I'm now subscribed to more than 160 channels and I do receive notifications of new videos from all of them so you have to understand that, that the, I, the day has only 24 hours and I do need to sleep So it would be nice if I would uh, have more time or somehow uh, have enough time to watch all the videos and also uh, work, be with my family and of course rest. So it's pretty cozy here. I will put all this in my briefcase. As I said, everything was hydrated, so it's ready to go for the next week. This Misha cake from uh, Mozek is really tasty. What? What? Can you see this? Guys, girls. <laughs> I'm, I'm again in Ferrara, so. <laughs> uh, 
just uh, I hope a little bit funny uh, thing to insert in the video. Uh, as I said, I'm again in Ferrara. Let me adjust this like this. Behind it, you can see not this first tower, but behind the tower, you can see the castle in the city center. And don't worry, the Vaco that, was, that I was showing you was safely delivered to our club members yesterday or on Saturday. Today it is a uh, Monday, actually, and we have some uh, rainy weather, cloudy and so on, so it's not pleasant be, to be outside. And as you can see, I'm inside my hotel room, I cannot smoke here, so this was just for the joke purpose. So, nevertheless, I will wrap up this video now, but before I will finish, let me tell you that uh, I'm following the happening in US about uh, that goes on around McClellan Company, and I already took some steps because you guys in US more or less bought all the stuff online. So since I cannot go to the brick and mortar stores there. Uh, I will have to, I had to find another way to get some McClelland, and not uh, from eBay, of course. Uh, and in one of my next videos, I will show you how did I manage to order or buy some McClelland tobacco, not from US. So have a great one. As you can see, I, I, I have a good time here. And until we meet again, I wish you all a lot of pleasant smokes.